Today here on All In with Brian Weatherford, we're going to be focusing on weddings. What 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 a great event a wedding is. It's just a fun, special time for everybody involved. The attendees have a great time. Of course, the family members that have been involved, and the bride and groom, of course, are both active. But let's be honest, one person, more than anyone, is more involved than anyone, and it could be a big special day to her more than anyone else. It takes a lot of work to go into a wedding. You need to bring in a professional to make it run just right. That's where we are today. The name of the company we're chatting with is Boss Brides, and my guest today, Mr. Arthur Coe. Arthur, welcome to the show, buddy. How are you? Good. How's it going, Brian? I'm great, man. i tell you what, I'm going to throw you a softball here real quick. I picked up quickly the name of the business is Boss Brides, not Bossy Brides. Give me the difference there. That's right. That's right. It's all about boss brides, Brian. In this day and age, the modern era, everyone's busy. People are running their nine to fives. People are doing their side hustles. Time is limited. So we created this company to really cater to them and handling all of their services in one place. Well, and looking at the notes today, you have experience in this field even before starting Boss Brides. Back it up just a little bit. Tell me about your experience in the whole wedding planning game and why you decided to start your own company. Absolutely. We really started back in 2011. I was working for another event company at the time when I was just a little rookie. And they did everything that I wanted to do, but the opposite. So, you know, they were basically kind of cheating clients, over promising, under delivering, not paying myself and many of our employees it was it was it was a mess and i decided you know what i i I had to get out of there and i wanted to run things the opposite direction when uh when were you able to get started with boss prize 2011 in ballpark there 2011 yes we first started with just doing photo booths and since then we've expanded our services to include photography videography dj photo booth lighting and coordination well, you certainly know better than anyone. It takes a variety of vendors to make the big day as special as possible. And let's just suffice it to say, hopefully, good Lord willing, that bride is only going to have one wedding. That's the good news. The bad news is she's only going to do it once and doesn't have any experience in doing it. And she's going to run around going crazy trying to do it. But you can come as a one-stop shop. Now, you do a bunch of the vendors in-house yourself, but then have relationships with everyone else. Is that correct? Uh, pretty much, yeah. We do everything in house. We vet and train and hire all of our own in house photographers, videographers. We have one creative director managing everything so that we're able to create one and deliver one consistent product. Our DJs are all, all on the same page. We have a system of operating procedures, Brian, that we follow very consistently. And that really helps us to deliver something consistent. Well, what is, what is, there's so many neat things about that. I think the biggest one is, and I'm going to draw a comparison here if I may. You're like a general contractor building big, luxurious homes. You know the trim carpenters and the plumbers and the electricians and the carpet layers and everything, and they know that you're going to get them a top-notch job, and when they're out there on your job, they're representing boss brides, and they're going to do it the exact way you want it done. Fair enough? That sounds like a great analogy. I might just put that on the website. (laughs) I I think it makes total sense because if I'm building a house, I wouldn't know where to find an electrician or a plumber or a carpenter or a painter or anything. And if I was getting married, I wouldn't know where to find the venues and the DJs and the photo booths and the caterers and all that. So why not come to you? I I like that. You know, you mentioned starting your your own thing. Uh, You learned some things, obviously, working in the past, some good things and some bad things. But overall, you have an entirely, as you like to put it, a fresh approach. You want to expand on that anymore, how you have such a fresh approach compared to others? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think in this day and age, you know, when you get married, you're looking at 10 to 15 different vendors. That means 10 to 15 different contracts, 10 to 15 different point of contacts, 10 to 15 different payments. And it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So we minimize that. And, and our job really is to take a lot, something that's complex and bring it down to a simplistic form. So that's what we're doing here. That's our different approach. You work with one coordinator here. Now that we're all on the same page, our photographers and videographers are working together. There's synergy, they're working side by side. No one's getting in the way of the other. They're also working in tandem with the DJs and the photo booths. And everyone just kind of works together to create a great experience for the client at the end of the day. 
Well, I would have to think too on the other side of things, it's a great experience for the vendors because an individual vendor doesn't have to go out to try to find a bride. They're there for you. You bring in the brides, they get their piece of the business, everybody's happy. And again, they're gonna do it the exact way it needs to be done because they know that Boss Brides has another one coming up next time. They don't wanna mess up that relationship. Absolutely, yeah, it's a win-win, <laughs> win for everybody. Well, it, it's just a wonderful deal. I have a little background in the event business myself. We can talk off camera about that, but because of my background, I know how the pandemic last year obviously impacted businesses of any industry, but none more than the hospitality industry of which you're a major part of. If you don't mind, how bad was it and how's it coming around now? Absolutely, it was bad. I will admit that we had to part ways with many of our core team and this core team we we woke up and and went to the we went to battle every day and we really just launched this business this brand of boss prides january 31st 2020 right before the world shut down as we knew it so it was tough we had to postpone more than 100 events mm. but with that said you know we didn't cancel anyone we didn't take their money we kept everything to accommodate them and we're so thankful now that we're just coming around and starting to do these events and these weddings again um, and delivering on our promise. So we're very, very thankful and blessed to be able to hopefully continue doing that. Well, and again, because of your background prior to starting your own gig, you knew the importance of not taking money from people and not burning bridges, et cetera. That right there is a perfect example of your fresh approach uh, that you bring to the table. Hey, let me ask you this. I'm, I'm not sure, but of course, a lot of the vendors and stuff that you have, they're applicable to other events, non-wedding events, if you will. Do you work with other types of events as well in addition to weddings? Yeah, we definitely do. Boss Brides is just one of our, is our main brand for weddings, but we actually have other brands catered to corporate events and just private parties sweet 16s, birthdays. Hey, if there's a celebration there, Brian, we want to be there. We want to get down and party with everybody. Well, as we certainly talked about more than once, it is boss brides and not bossy brides, but let's be honest. There's a reason that the term bossy brides exists, bridezilla if you may, but in my experience, a lot of times it's not the bride so much as her mom. So how are you able to deal with everyone? Because it's a really big deal. There's a lot of personalities bumping into each other. You have to be a referee a lot of, a lot of, a lot of examples too, don't you? Yeah, we've seen our fair share of <laughs> bridezillas. I mean, that's just part of the game and we understand that. And you know, that's, that's really no problem. We understand that there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of stress going into this day a big part of our culture is preparation, 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 instead of re reparation, I guess you can say. So prior to the big day, we have a process in which we go over and dot all of the I's, cross all the T's, make sure that uh, the logistics are down, pat, you know, every service like photography, for example, is its own beast we need to go through logistics of where they're they're setting up where they're getting ready and then where the ceremony is and what time that is and, and that needs to go hand in hand with the dj what time the grand entrance is and um all of that kind of goes together we manage that all in-house we coordinate that a lot of times our clients they don't have their own coordinators or if they do have a coordinator it might just be an on-site coordinator we work hand in hand with them to make sure that we prepare for the day so that there's no hiccups the day of. But you know, there's there always are, but we, um, we're we ready for that. Well, there, there always are hiccups, but when you bring in professionals like yourself, the coordinator's job is to take care of things and make sure nobody knows they did it. <laughs> Just keep, <laughs> keep it seamless. And maybe pretty on much, down the road much. when it's all said and done, say, hey, you didn't notice this, but here's what happened. And everybody can laugh about it because bottom line, the night of the big night or the big day or whatever it may be, it's seamless and it's because of you and your entire crew there at Boss Brides. Great industry. I'm glad to hear you're coming back at it a little bit. Last year's behind us. Let's keep moving ahead. I appreciate you taking time to share your story today. Continue success, helping everybody with their big day. Take care. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you.